Mirror match number two. Let's see if we can get revenge on our opponent, Lazav the Multifarious versus Lazav the Multifarious. I know for a fact that unless our opponent has changed up their deck drastically in the last five minutes, or actually it's been more like 15 minutes since we played our opponent, um, that they run a lot of spot removal, uh, making you sacrifice things, targeted removal, things like that. So might be able to play around that a little bit. But this deck really is focused on uh, on getting Lazarve out and getting a win down as soon as possible. We'll get down this training grounds. And we can go for a bounce with Mystical Tutor if we feel like it. But I don't think our opponent's going to go down for Lazarve straight away. Because there's nothing in the graveyard for it to target. Each player draws a card then discards a card. Yeah, that's a good way to filter through your... Your thing, uh, your hand. Just thinking if we need to. I think we can just get down Vector Asp here and hold up Mystical Tutor and see what our opponent does. Okay, destroy a. Yeah, that's that's fine. I don't actually want that on the uh, on the field anyway, so that's no problem. And we can go for something with Mystical Tutor. Let's see what we want to go for here. I'm not actually too sure. We can go for... We're a little bit of a ways away from... If we draw into Traumatize, yeah, we actually need a blue land as well. I think we just go for Buried Alive here. And we can cast Buried Alive next turn. Uh, yeah, so we go into Ancient Tomb and then pretend to hold up some form of counter magic that they might play around. So if we go for Invisible Stalker always, and then what else would we want? Hmm. Oh yeah, Fraction Dreadnought, of course, is a fast means of getting a win. And then maybe something like Dark Confidant to get some more card draw. Or actually, we have the Wall of Souls with Vector Asp in play, so yeah, that would be good. Um, Wall of Souls, um, you just give it Infect, or you give Lazarve Infect with the Vector Asp, and then if they swing in with something huge, then we can block with that, and it will give them that much Infect uh, damage. So we'll pass that over to our opponent now. And each player draws a card, then discards it. Yeah, we'll just discard the Consecrated Sphinx. Thank you. I'm not sure I want to play the Mesmeric Orb because it will help our opponent as well. Usually it's a, a card that you can play in most decks because it will actually hurt your opponent, especially if they go for things like a mystical Tutor, Vampiric Tutor. It looks like they're just holding up. Spot removal here. Uh, Choked Estuary enters the battlefield. We can reveal a Swamp with that. And then go for one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to play into my opponent's spot removal, which I'm sure they have. They had a lot last game anyway. Well, we're going to have to get it out of their hand eventually anyway, so why don't we go down for our Lazarve, and then maybe we can turn it into the Invisible Stalker in response, and see what we can surveil into here. We will put that into our graveyard. We want to get into something different, I think. Our opponent may well be waiting for us to yeah, let's draw two cards and discard a card. So I think I would like to spend one on turning this into an Invisible Stalker. Uh, where are we? That will be one mana for that. And Training Grounds is bugged. Um, it reduces the cost of Lazarve's ability to below one, which it shouldn't do. Uh, so we have to make sure that we uh, we tap down our lands for that, just to make sure that we're not cheating our opponent in any way. 
Okay, rapid hybridization. That means that we can do it another two times with the ancient tomb. We can do it on the stack, so rapid hybridization will fizzle there. And now we might be protected unless our opponent forces us to sacrifice Lazav, which they do have in the deck because we played them before and they've forced us to do it. And we can just yield to our opponent now and go in for the kill next turn. Uh, if we go into Vector Asp and oh, we discard a card, uh, we'll just discard. I think Urborg will help them. Yeah, so we'll just discard the Urborg there. And our opponent discards an island, so they're obviously looking for answers. They don't have creatures in hand to discard, it doesn't look like. Uh, yeah, the Vector Asp for a single black gives your commander gives your commander effect, and they don't get into an answer there, so we are one all on the Lazav the Multifarious mirror matches. Yeah, so as I was saying, Vector Asp for a single black gives your commander infect. And then you can swing in with the Phyrexian Dreadnought unblocked to give your opponent uh, 12 Infect counters, which will of course kill them outright. Or you can just swing in twice with the Phyrexian Dreadnought for commander damage. The thing I was pointing out before was Wall of Souls. Whenever it's dealt combat damage, it deals that much damage to a target opponent or Planeswalker. If you give the Wall of Souls Infect with the Vector Asp, it will deal damage in the form of infect counters. So if something swings in for 10 damage or more, then you can give them 10 infect damage. It's, I don't know how likely that is against an Lazav deck, but you never know. I think it was worth tutoring for there just in case. And there's nothing to stop us doing it twice. Or uh, it's kind of like a rattlesnake effect to keep them from swinging in at all. But good game to our opponent. We just uh, had the answers there like they had the answers last game. Looks like they've built their Lazav deck a lot more differently than we have. We've just gone for a lot of self-mill, and they've gone for looting effects. I think their self-mill strategy is faster, especially with regards to things like, uh, what's that name, Tunnel Vision, cards like that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the Lazav the Multifarious bonus content. That's uh, it's a little bit of a thank you for everyone. Because the Tatyova deck, up until Lazav, was the most popular commander on the channel and over the course of a month bearing in mind the channel is only four or five weeks old the Tatyova videos will fetch over 100 views over the course of four or five weeks Lazav the Multifarious the best video the video that's got the most views has done over 300 in less than a week so that puts into perspective what the uh, the popularity of the deck so definitely be keeping it in the rotation people still want to see the uh, Lazav the Multifarious videos, you can let me know. Hit thumbs up and all that. I do pay attention to all that. And I'm very grateful to the support and the love that everyone's given to me and the channel. It's very much appreciated. A lot of effort goes into it, so I'm glad that you're all enjoying it. I'm Tribal Kai on the EDH channel. And thank you for watching.